If you're looking to do spray foam insulation in your attic, there's two schools of thought as to what to do with your existing insulation on the attic floor. One is that you should remove it, and the second is that you should keep it on the attic floor. Since spray foam became popular in the early 2000s, we've actually had a lot of case studies done and have done both cases. Some homeowners wanted to leave the insulation in the attic floor, some wanted it removed and extracted out. And we have some data to follow up on, so let's make the case for both arguments and then we'll go over which one is actually better. So in hot, dry climates, spray foam is an ideal insulation because it provides an air sealant and an insulator in one. You get insulation along the roof decking, which is much more effective than having insulation on the attic floor because it's stopping the heat gain from coming into the attic rather than letting the heat gain come in the attic and then stopping it from coming into the house. Case one is leaving the insulation in the attic. So there's going to be less upfront cost. The homeowner won't have to pay initially to have the insulation removed. And some schools of thought are it'll provide double protection uh, because you get that first layer of protection from the spray foam along the roof deck. And then you get a second layer of protection when the heat gain comes from the attic floor into the house. A second school of thought is that if there's no insulation on the attic floor, there's a fear that you'll be paying to cool the attic in the summertime because there's going to be nothing, no insulation to stop the conditioned air from the inside of the house from transferring up into the attic. Case number two is to remove the existing insulation on the attic floor. And a lot of homeowners like to remove it if it's really old and kind of looks like these photos where we have loose fill fiberglass on one side and that gets really dusty. If, if you just walk on it or just put your hand on it, you'll see a cloud of dust that'll puff up and it actually contributes to dust inside the house. So an argument for removing that existing insulation is there is going to be less dust. Removing the insulation on the attic floor is better for air quality because the insulation isn't harboring all that dust and you actually get additional storage space in the attic so a lot of homeowners will lay plywood on their attic floor and use that as uh, storage in their attic because once you spray foam the roof decking your attic pretty much becomes dust free and a school of thought to remove the existing insulation is that if you leave the insulation on the attic floor it's going to trap that heat in the attic and it's going to get hotter in the attic than it would if you take it out. And so the winner is actually removing the insulation from the attic floor whenever you're doing a spray foam job. And this is because the insulation on the attic floor traps the heat in the attic and it makes the attic hotter and it makes the house hotter. Spray foam is actually good regardless if you remove the insulation or if you leave it in. Don't get me wrong, so either way, you're going to be better off. But from our energy models and experience, you'll get more cost savings by removing the insulation on the attic floor. And so we did work out the numbers for those two different scenarios. And you could visit our blog to see what we worked out. Basically, we took our heat gain formula, U times A times delta T, and plug that in for the two different scenarios where U is our U factor similar to windows it's the assembly of uh, the attic floor and the heat gain from one side to the other A is the area of the attic floor and delta T is our temperature difference so from the outside to the inside of the attic or from the attic inside to the house. You could follow the link below and go to that blog. I know it could be a little uncomfortable to have that insulation removed and have basically nothing from the ceiling to the house, but you're going to be well protected with spray foam insulation. Hope this answers those questions for you. If you have any questions or comments, Feel free to leave them in the comment section. This has been David Burns with Green ID, wishing you happy savings.